Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I realise I look absolutely crazy right now, but as you can see from the title, I'm filming a full get ready with me for a black tie event. I'm going to a ball this evening, so I thought it'd be a great idea to just film the whole process of getting ready from skin prep, hair, makeup, outfit, the whole lot. And I am so excited that Farfetch is actually sponsoring today's video. I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with the website, but if you're not, they literally have every like brand and designer you could think of. And they have like activewear, they have like dresses for black tie events they have just regular mini dresses shoes and they just recently launched um a new beauty category online as well so they have a few beauty items now as well so i picked up some bits from them including my dress for tonight my handbag for tonight and this sheet mask that i currently have on my face and some makeup bits as well and they also kind of gave me a discount code for all of my viewers which is chloe ff i'll leave it on the screen here and you can use that for 10 percent off your first order on their website i'll leave all the terms and conditions down below as well so thank you so much to farfetch for sponsoring this video i'm actually so excited to be working with them because they're like the website is insane and i was also looking at the dress that i got from them before they even reached out to me so we manifested that it's the secret so yeah love the dress can't wait to show you that so this is the current sheet mask that i have on it's the one on one skin i absolutely love these they're just like so indulgent for your skin and you just if you're getting ready pop one on before doing your makeup i swear to god it makes such a difference hydrated well prepped skin before your makeup is the key to just getting that like good result it's all in the prep i swear so i've had this on for about 20 minutes now i'm going to take it off and apply some moisturizer you can just see the glow that that's given like without anything else on my skin. Also, if you're like me and you fake tan your face, then applying that extra bit of moisture with the sheet mask is so good um, before applying your makeup. Because sometimes your skin can be really dry after putting fake tan on, so it just like plumps it back up. And then I just put on this Kiehl's um, face cream here. I'm gonna let all of that sink in and then apply some SPF, even though it's later on tonight, just in case I'm in the sun at all. This is the one that I'm gonna use because it's nice and light. I swear my skin feels so so good after that. I have just the Saint Tropez um, Purity Mist on my face, although I have this little breakout here. Um, if it doesn't break out your skin, that's just for my period, which we love. I never really get breakouts. Love that I got that just before an event. This SPF is so nice for um, summer because it's like a gel consistency and it's really light, but gives such a nice glow to the skin. Someone actually commented in one of my recent videos saying I think you have like a wavy hair texture and this is my hair when I take it down from a towel but like I usually just always brush through it. I've never actually just like let it sit like this and let it dry like this so I wonder what a dry wavy. We're not going to try that today but maybe another time. So in my hair I'm going to apply the Kerastase Blonde Absolute Cicoplasm Serum. So this is a leave-in conditioner and it also has heat protectant in it because obviously I'm going to be styling my hair a lot today and then I'm just going to brush all of that through my hair to make sure it's like evenly distributed and then I'm also going to apply some hair oil just kind of in the ends because I'm going to let my hair mostly air dry while I'm doing my makeup and then the oil will just stop it from getting to frizzy while air drying and this is the one i'm using from aura bay it is so so nice and it's actually clear although it looks like it's gold it's a clear oil so good if you're blonde i honestly don't know how anyone could do their makeup they all have their hair off their face god we were really up close and personal in today's video guys but my first primer i'm going to use the benefit Pore professional i like to just apply this um in any areas that i kind of have like more and um, visible pores so just here and um, my forehead and then around my chin and this just kind of like fills in any open pores like I said and kind of like even out skin texture I put it here on my laugh lines and then around my eyes so anywhere that I kind of get like um like creasing and stuff like that as well okay next to keep the glow real because everyone loves a good glow I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter in the shade four I think everyone and their mother has this at this stage it's honestly the absolute best product and um, you can use this as a uh, foundation with this shade anyway during summer if you want like a really light coverage i see so many people do that and i do that myself i'm gonna apply this all over my face because i want the glow everywhere so this comes in so many shades i actually have the darker shade number six that i'm gonna apply just up here and then i'm just gonna blend all of that lightly into my skin i just got my hair done so the struggle to get like as close to my hairline without actually staining my hairline is real can you see the glow that that gives and it gives like a little bit of coverage as well just kind of like acts as like a 
filter, I suppose, hence the name. Moving on to foundation, I'm staying with Charlotte Tilbury and I'm using the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I'm gonna mix two shades, 7.5 neutral and a tiny bit of 7.5 warm, depending on what matches up with my fake tan. So I like to start in the center, like you can see that just covered up that little blemish there. I always pump out way too much. And it's such a waste, honestly, start with half a pump even less because this has such good coverage you really don't need a lot and when I apply my foundation I basically just buff it in little circles like this and take that extra like minute or two to really like buff it in because that's what will help it last and um, if you're going to an event like this you need it to last all night and then with my hairline sometimes I kind of just push it in and blend it with my fingers because I don't want it to like stain the blonde bits around my hairline just do not forget your ears especially if you're wearing your hair up because your ears will always be a bit more pink. Next, I'm just gonna bounce over that with my damp beauty blender, just to really like work that into the skin. It takes no time at all and it really does make a difference. It just kind of absorbs any excess product as well, so you'll still get good coverage, but it won't be like too heavy on the skin. Okay, so next, moving on to concealer. I'm going to cream kind of highlight with my concealer, so I use a few shades lighter, and I'm using the MAC Studio Fix in shade NC20. And then I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 145. Apply this on top just for extra coverage um, under my eyes. And then I'm gonna apply it here and here to lift the corners of my lips. And obviously because I have that little breakout there, so I want a bit more coverage with this one to cover that guy. And a little tip when it comes to your concealer, let it sit so it actually thickens up and you get more coverage before blending it. And then I just use my beauty blender to blend all of that in. Guys, sorry if the lighting is changing so much in this video. Unfortunately, I live in Ireland, so the sun constantly goes, it's coming out again now, but it's the sun I'm using natural light just so you get the like full effect and like true colors and everything. So moving on, as you kind of talk, you can see underneath my eyes starting to crease a little bit. So I always just blend that out before applying my setting powder. And I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder on the clean side of my damp beauty blender and I'm gonna bake under my eyes because I want it to last all night and then I like to really bake here too because I get um, laugh lines from like laughing and talking <laughs> and then whatever is left on my beauty blender I'm gonna bounce that in the center I like to really set the center of my face with this powder because it is more of a matte finish because I naturally will get kind of like shinier let me just fix the lighting shinier in those areas and then for the rest of my face i'm going to use the hourglass veil translucent setting powder so this one has more of a glow to it okay so moving on to bronzer i'm going to use my mac mineralized skin finish in the shade dark which has more of like a skin finish kind of sheen to it so it's not um really matte and i'm using just a smaller brush than usual just so i have more precision especially around my hairline like i keep mentioning this is nice and tapered to really get like underneath your uh jaw or your cheekbone there and your jaw as well okay i'm just gonna brush away that bake before i forget because i actually don't usually bake like that and it's gonna like probably be too intense so you can see there like obviously my face is very powdered at the moment i'm gonna apply a lot of setting spray but with that benefit professional it's like filter honestly and then the flawless filter on top so at this stage, I actually apply my clear brow gel. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury clear brow gel for this, which I also got from Farfetch. And I only tint them recently, so they're not too bad. But I like to apply the clear brow gel first and put them in place. And then I can see where I need to fill in instead of just um, going straight in with any kind of brow product. So moving on to blush, I'm gonna use the Refi Cream Blush in the shade Rose. I'm using the like bum of my Beauty Blender. I'm bouncing it in and then I apply that just like on the tops of my cheeks and then I'm gonna apply whatever's left just up on my forehead and then a little bit on the bridge of my nose as well. So moving on to highlight I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Addiction Highlighter. How fab is that? It's such a nice gold shade and I apply it just here on top of my brow and then around here and like a little C. You can see that glow gives it's so nice and then a little bit down my nose and then whatever's left on the brush, I actually just put it across all of my forehead because I'm using a lot of powder and I'm not gonna get the glow from just using cream products. Um, I'm gonna fake it with a bit of this. So going back to my Laura Mercier powder, I'm just gonna clean up underneath here where my contour was because if that bronzer is too far down on your face, it will actually like 
drag down your face. So you want to keep it nice and high. A good kind of like guideline is to go from like the top of your he ear here towards the corner of your mouth. It looks really stark now, but I kind of wanted to um, clean up the area. So I'm going to let that sit and then move on. Okay, so I've decided I actually want a little bit more blush. So I'm going to go in with the NARS Thrill Blush, which is honestly one of my faves. If you haven't noticed, I love a nice bright pink blush. Cleaning as I go. And while I remember now, I'm just going to apply some lip balm. Because my lips are always so dry. Okay, so I'm actually going to apply some setting spray. This is the MAC Fix Plus. And I like to apply this like in intervals throughout my makeup. Because this just settles all of that powder into the skin. And makes it look way more skin-like. And not as matte, basically. So you'll get the glow and the longevity. Um, without actually just using cream products. Okay, so for my eyes, I'm just going to lightly dust them with a bit of setting powder. Because... Um, I'm conscious that that spray probably made them a bit tacky. I don't want my eyeshadows to like completely stick. I want them to blend easier. So a little bit of translucent powder will help the shadows blend. Okay, so for my eyes, I'm going to use the Makeup by Mario Master Matte Palette. So all my favourite colours basically. And in my crease, this is where I'm going to draw blank. I have no idea what I'm going to do with my eyes. I don't think I'm going to do like um, a shimmer. I think I'm going to go all matte and actually apply false lashes for the first time in maybe like... 10 years but I'm gonna apply this shade into my crease here with just um, a regular kind of blending brush okay I know this is kind of higgledy piggledy but I actually go in or I go back to my brows now and I'm using the benefit precisely my brow in the shade 3.5 and I'm just gonna fill in really really lightly any areas that look kind of like gapped or sparse just like this a little bit here because I still want you to see like the hairs in my brows but I just need uh, more definition and to kind of like give them more shape so by holding the pencil really far down you're going to get like a way lighter application of the product instead of holding it like this hold it like further down okay not sure I'm mad on the brows but we move and I still have not decided what I'm doing with my eyes so I'm just going to play it safe and I'm gonna like I always do um, I'm going to use this shade here and apply that all over my lid Okay, so for underneath my eyes, I want to give it a bit of definition, but I don't want it to be too intense because um, I want all the kind of lift and the drama at the top of my eye. So I'm going to use a mixture of this shade here and this shade here, just with a really, really small, um, like fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to run that underneath my eyes. Okay, then next I'm going to use the MAC coffee eye pencil which is just a nice dark brown and I'm basically just applying this in my upper waterline here next curling the eyelashes which I always 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 do make such a difference I want to use the Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes but this I find transfers so I want to use the MAC extended play giga giga black lash mascara which is like a waterproof one which doesn't transfer this one gives more drama so I'm like ah oh, which one you know what because I'm applying a false lash it might actually guard the um transfer a bit so I'm gonna go with the Charlotte Tilbury one this one is honestly my favorite the only thing is um, it does transfer but it makes your lashes look insane okay so I'm gonna let my mascara dry and before applying my false lashes and just looking at my eyes I kind of feel like I need a bit of a pop of like shimmer or something in here so I'm gonna use the highlight that I used on my face just with a really small brush and just apply that to the inner corners of my eyes just to add a bit of kind of like glam. Okay, so moving on to lips. I just took off that lip balm there and what I like to do is just use whatever's left of my foundation brush and just really lightly go over my lips just to kind of um, give a nice blank canvas for, oh my God, the light. A nice blank canvas for my lip products so they come up like more true to color and um, instead of like my natural lip color kind of interfering with it so for lip liner I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in the shade iconic nude which is like my go-to dark nude so good for events or if you're gonna have your picture and stuff taken or if you want a bit more definition on your lips so I'm gonna overdraw just this area here and here and then connect it with my natural lip at the sides and that's kind of how you like realistically over dry your lips okay so that is the lip liner on i left the center of my lips bare and for my lipstick i'm gonna use mac honey love which is like my favorite nude and it's a little bit lighter so we'll just kind of add that little like contour to the lip 
I'm actually having second thoughts about the false lashes now because that lip liner is kind of dark on me so I think the makeup looks a bit intense and false lashes might look too much. I'm gonna do my hair and then I'll decide. So what I'm gonna do now is just blast around my hair and um, like no technique I literally just blast right so I'll do that off camera um, and then come back to style it. Okay so that is my hair just blasted dry as you can see it's nice and frizzy so what I like to do is just grab my straightener this is the GHD Platinum Plus so good and I usually just kind of like take the frizz out really lightly like that towards the ends and then concentrate more on the top section just for any like flyaways obviously I have breakage because my hair is quite blonde and then I like to really concentrate on like my hairline because obviously I have a lot of like baby hair and breakage and that tends to get kind of like frizzy. So as you can see like here. So I really kind of focus mostly on this little section. And I'm not like spending too much time on this. Obviously I'm going to like wave my hair but it's just to kind of get that frizz and like craziness out. So you can see the difference between that and that. And then the exact same on uh, the top layer. So these little like fringe and layered bits. Okay, so I'm gonna clip in my hair extensions and then I'm going to style my hair with them in it so it's all like cohesive and it all matches instead of styling them separately. Okay, so that is all of my hair extensions clipped in. The ones that I'm using are the Foxy Locks. I think it's the Deluxe Seamless ones. I actually can't remember because I've had them for so long um, and they're still perfect by the way like literally they feel brand new and I don't even have all of them clipped in and like look these are in the shade um iced latte as well so I'm gonna section my hair first of all and then for my curler I'm using the t3 curler this is like the thickest spiral attachment it's so big so basically this will help keep that kind of like soft um wave kind of blowout look I just take really big sections and keep them in for a little bit longer and it gives me that really soft look. So I'm gonna do that today and then set it with hairspray, which I'm gonna grab now before I forget. I'm just gonna use the OG, the Elnet um, hairspray in Extra Strong. So you can see the like huge piece that I took there and I just keep it around the barrel for a little bit longer, but overall it's actually way quicker and it gives that really, really soft, like lived in look. So I actually am gonna catch each one, spray it and then have these like crocodile clips or whatever they're called and I'm just gonna clip them as I do them so let it drop hairspray it and then clip it up just so it holds the style because like I said it's gonna be a really loose style anyway so I need to get as much hold in as possible so I'm gonna do the exact same on the other side and basically throughout my whole hair I might show you like the middle section like one part of the middle section and then one part of the top section and then show you how I do the front of my hair because it's gonna be quite repetitive. And then with this section here, I'm actually gonna curl it in the opposite direction. So I threw in one or two curls and um, going the opposite way. So by adding in one or two curls in the opposite direction, it just kind of like breaks it up and keeps it more kind of like tousled and messy and like, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. And then curling the pieces closest to my face always um, away from my face. Okay, please any hairdressers or stylists just do not judge my um, <laughs> pin curl technique here. But I'm gonna show you what I do for the front bits. I never really know what I'm doing, I just act like I do. Um, I'm gonna curl them kind of away from my face like this and a little bit up and hope that they turn out what, how I want them to. Okay, so my hair looks absolutely crazy right now, I'm aware. But this is all of the <laughs> Um, pin curls out so you can see the kind of curl that that gives and my hair is like completely cooled down so it's set so what I'm gonna do is grab my brush and then just start to brush the curls out from the bottom up and this just softens them more so it looks more like um a kind of like blow out blow dry look so I'm gonna use some of the Aura Bay super shine moisturizing cream and I'm just gonna use the smallest amount of this as you can see here and kind of run it through to tame it a little bit. I know it looks like extra bouncy and big now, but it actually looks like there's too much hair there. Shake. Okay, so that's my hair for the moment. I'm gonna go and throw on my dress. This is gonna set and kind of like fall a little bit. I might need to redo that piece there. Um, and then I'll show you the full outfit and the full look when it's on. Okay, so I've come upstairs to the full length mirror to show you 
the dress on. I'm obsessed. So this is the dress here. It's from Shona Joy, which is actually the designer that we wore for my sister's bridesmaids dresses. So I knew I loved the quality, such good quality. Um, and the sizing is always spot on. This is UK size 10, which is the same as an Aussie size 10. And I just love the slit up the front um, and the ruching. And then the back detail there, if you can see. The quality of these dresses are honestly so good. And then I also got this little bag from Stodd, I think it is, which is perfect. I can actually just hide the straps and use it as a clutch um, and then take the strap out later on if I'm tired of holding a clutch bag. And the color is just perfect. And then I just have it paired with little nude, barely there heels. So that is it for me. That is a full get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am so late. Um, and yeah, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I think that is the taxi just pulling up outside and I'm gonna head out. Honestly, I absolutely love this dress. It does come in other colors as well and kind of like slightly different styles too. So um, if you're looking for a good either bridesmaids dress or like a wedding guest dress or just any kind of event dress, they are so far. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one.